Hey everybody, I'm Joey and today I'm making fiery redhead rub, which is a perfect complement to chicken and pork. So follow me and let's turn up the tasty. Just like I said in the intro, today I'm making one of my favorite rubs. We call it our fiery redhead rub and it's a perfect accoutrement to either chicken or pork, but don't Google it. All joking aside, let's go ahead and get started. It's a very simple rub we created using common ingredients we had in our kitchen. The one thing I personally try to avoid when I'm making rubs at home is I don't like to use sugar. I just don't like a lot of sweet meat. I don't like the way it can cause your meats to burn over a high heat. Now, if you don't like sugar in your rubs, check out our Jojo rub. It's another rub that's also good for chicken and pork, but it lacks the heat component that our fiery redhead rub brings to the meat. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing, we're gonna go ahead and start with this Lowry season salt right here. And we're gonna go with one and a half tablespoons. Next up, one tablespoon of this smoked paprika. We're going to go with a half a tablespoon of the crushed red. And this helps turn up the heat profile. Right over here, we're gonna go with a half a tablespoon of chili powder. What's in the box? What's in the box? One tablespoon chipotle powder. This is a great way to turn up the heat on any dish. Next up, we're gonna give it one tablespoon of garlic powder and then a half a tablespoon of onion powder. So now you just mix it all up and it's super easy. That's it. Totally made from scratch, from beginning to end. We're gonna use this fiery redhead rub to make some killer grilled pork tenderloin that we're gonna share with you in another video. What do you guys like to use in your rubs? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to try this for yourself. And if you do, let us know how you like it in the comments below. I'll see you guys soon.